how on earth do you expect uh, small business owners uh, with no revenue to increase uh, the wage rates uh, right now? So most small business owners have been preparing for the minimum wage to have come in today um, and had already done the work to payroll systems and so on. And so while I understand there's a difference of opinion uh, around whether or not the minimum wage should go up, I think it's terrific that the supermarket workers who are essential workers, the cleaners who are essential workers, will now be benefiting from that from today. Um, and I think I have confidence in our business owners that they were prepared for this. But Minister, I mean, other than the supermarket, which may be doing fairly nicely and was the example you used, and the reality is that the, the baker in Tauranga I've talked to, they have no revenue. They may have got their payroll systems worked out, but they simply cannot afford to pay that increase in minimum wage. Yeah, and so, I mean, we're going around in circles here. Um, that is, you know, I understand the the concerns people have about the minimum wage. It's a decision that was made some time ago. Um, it is something we think is important to support low and middle income people. For that bakery in Tauranga, they have the ability to apply for the wage subsidy scheme and pass on, um, you know, the level that is the, that or what people are normally earning. That is their ability to do that right now.